I'm really looking at pattern and interplay of weave and texture and color all together. The collection was all inspired by New York architecture, actually. So they're named after these really beautiful monuments of New York, things that are known, a lot of them from the Deco period. But to have a place like New York that is so chaotic, and yet we tend to do products that are quite calming and soothing. Isn't that interesting, the juxtaposition? She is phenomenal. She's an artisan who works with incredible artisans and creates some of the most contemporary, interesting wall coverings and now fabrics. Everything we do is not just about the product, but it's about the process, it's about the intention, it's about the energy. The most commonly asked question to me all the time is where do you get your inspiration? I like to say when people ask me that question that the inspiration comes synesthetically. Color shouldn't just be looked at, it should be experienced. The fact is when I design these collections, my real hope is that people just feel something from them. Well, I love Lori's work because she takes tradition and updates it. The colors are so subtle and elegant, and everything has that kind of organic, handmade feel. The key for us is, though, everything we do has to be beautiful. There's lots of things out in the market that are environmentally conscious, but maybe not that beautiful. doesn't pass for us. This is a velvet, it's which pretty. is 100% bamboo. I do believe the soul of the space happens by the textile. We developed things, for example, we developed a whole series of wall coverings that are made from bark from a fig tree in Mexico that a village create together. And this family uses part of the tree for our product and then the rest of the tree for their schools, for their hospitals. Trees get replanted immediately. So being green is also a social thing too. It's about how people are treated in the, in the mill that makes these products, for mm -hmm. example. Just do it. If you take nothing home tonight from this lecture, 